It's been a lot this week, huh? I brought my emotional support, Captain. Nah. Uh, well, yeah, I know everybody watching this now and on the YouTubes, we are having... It just seems to keep, keep getting... Just like, a little Lord bit. knows what's going to happen in between now and when this goes up on YouTube. Aliens. My money's on aliens. I've, I've got, I've got, I've got, you know. Like, night folks. I say aliens. Um, I hope you all are doing okay. I hope you're all looking out for each other. And, uh, obviously Black Lives Matter. I mean, make that quite clear. Um, we, we, we there's one side on this that we're siding with and it, it's it's yeah. not it's not the police and if you're not on that side or it surprises you that we're on that side why are you you, you can go yeah what what the hula la? where have you been i mean we still get people that are like oh i used to like the show but now the terror is a feminist i'm out like where the f have you been? do you see what's behind me pointedly hung in my shot they, I don't have a Black Lives Matter poster or put that up tonight. So if you're if you're not on any if you're not on that side and it surprises you to find out we are and you want to be mad about it, bye bye. Yeah, I mean, how, I, we've been doing the video stuff for ten years and you're just now stumbling onto this. Sh Ooh, la, la. Me, you're an idiot. Yeah. All right. Um. Well. Speaking of which, uh, you're you're definitely not going to like the first thing I've got for you because I got something special. Um, let's get started. Get the intro going here. I know going a little quick tonight, but I got something special. I'm very excited about it. Get our intro going. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment. We like to call what the fuck is wrong with you. And I'm going to start tonight's show. We're doing something I, I used to do a while back um, when I was doing some of the pre-recorded versions of this show. Uh, great moments in stupid history. And one popped up to me today that I felt a very big need to talk about because I'm not sure if everyone's entirely familiar with this. Um, and trust me, this is going to be a feel good for a lot of you out there. Some of you out there are going to whine like scalded cats and I don't give a crap. Um... So, once upon a time, we had a civil war. Tara, have you heard of the H.L. Hunley? I have not. You're going to enjoy this. Okay, so, in ye olden times uh, of the, uh, the 1800s, when we had, you know, an entire country was losing its shit because they were being told that maybe owning and torturing people was a bad thing. Um, we had, you know, civil war going on. And in Charleston, South Carolina, my hometown, there was a blockade by Union by the Union uh, Army of the Charleston Harbor. Um, well, they didn't like it here, so they decided they were try going to try to do something about it. And what they came up with was an incredibly stupid idea. And I'm, I'm going to show you guys a picture right here. Um, where is it? Here we go. Yep. Yeah, there's that picture. Let's bring it over here so everybody can see it. Um, this is a replica of the Hanley that's, that's out on the street in, in Charleston to this day. It's outside of a museum. Um... That right there is one of the first combat submarines in, in the history of warfare. And I say that quite loosely. Um, it, it is essentially a steel tube with pedal cranks inside. And you may notice that long stick on the front. On the end of that stick was a bomb. So the way this worked was they took eight dudes and they put them in this steel tube 
They put eight people in there. It's eight so people. Small. Eight people in there. Yeah, and it's 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 like about uh three and a half feet tall to give you an idea of scale there. Um, they put eight people in that thing with no air supply. Okay, the only air supply they got was whatever they, they sealed in with them. And they had to pedal crank with no periscope. They had to pedal crank this thing. The idea was they would go under the water and pedal crank this thing into a ship and hit it with the little bomb on the stick and blow up the ship. That seems unsafe. Yes. The very first test run of the U.S. of, of the, not the USF, the H.L. Hunley. Um, Killed five people, and it sank. And that was it. No, uh, Horace Hunley was the 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 architect of this. Um, Hunley had decide, designed the submarine. He had no experience with engineering, or design, or submarines. But what he did have was a lot of money. Think. Confederate Elon Musk. Yeah. So that's exactly actually, what I was thinking. Actually, just Elon Musk. But anyway, um, so the second test, he hopped aboard. Now he was not in the Confederate military. He How just did they find a second set of people willing to do this. <laughs> they don't call it the lost cause for nothing. Like what eight people were willing to be like, you know what? Everyone died on the first one, but I'm sure the second one is going to be fine. seven, seven people. Cause the second Dead. time Hunley decided to get on board. Okay. And it sank again. And this time everybody died, <laughs> but they still took this thing from Montgomery, Alabama overland to Charleston, South Carolina, and they put it in the harbor, and they filled it with eight more people, and it did, in fact, sink a Union boat. And then it sank, and everybody on board it died. Why did they keep... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So they they killed about this this thing by itself killed twenty three, conf no no twenty about twenty ish Confederate soldiers and the guy who designed it. The master race, ladies and gentlemen. And then it was lost in the harbor for about a hundred years. Now to, to make this even funnier, um, and I'm going to give you this link because God bless it. Dude found it. Uh, I forget who he was. You know, that, that should say a bunch. I, 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 I forget the guy's name who found the Hunley and made a big deal about it. There is a Hunley exhibit. And they're all proud. And look, look at this picture here. Look, it's got this picture of these little kids inside the pedal crank boat that just kept killing freaking this thing. I, I, would, I would posit that the Hunley was one of the best Union soldiers because it <laughs> it has a body count of Confederates. Why didn't he get inside the death trap? It has a body count of Confederates. Um, and I love so how they, why did the Hunley vanish? Um, because it sank. Because they sank in the fucking harbor and they couldn't find it. <laughs> why do people it? go to this? Do they make money? <laughs> I guess, like I said, that 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 picture of the replica has been on display on the street in Charleston for ages. Well, there you was can vote. you can vote on your theory as to why it sank. Um, because it's it was for fuck's sake. Torpedo explosion, trapped by the tides, collision at sea, or a lucky shot, or it was a death trap. Yeah, that's not one of the options. Um, and, and even better, 1999, TNT, you know that network? Does anyone still watch yeah. that network? They made a made-for-TV movie about the Hunley, starring Armand Asante and Donald Sutherland. 
And it was framed as the heroic struggle of the Confederates to free Charleston Harbor. And it is just as bad as I'm explaining it. With Armand Asante. As one of the Confederates, yes. The Confederate captain of the Hunley. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That, that this is this uh, I just I just want to to put this out there that the the Confederate mythology is all built up around a ship that probably killed more Confederates than a lot of Union soldiers did. It seems like <laughs> Confederate fanboys <laughs> in general. I mean, they're already rooting for the loser. Yeah, yeah. You're already standing for the loser. Yep. So why not just double the fuck down? <sighs> I guess. I guess. Logic. <laughs> uh, the, the, the people are like the first successful combat submarine that's in the banner. It's like, technically, it was successful. It did kill people. It did go underwater. And yeah, it went underwater and it killed people. So the master race, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, let's let's move on to our regularly scheduled horrible because um, you know, there's still stupid in and in now and uh, this isn't exactly stupid. This is just, you know, nature smacking us around a bit because it's want to do. Uh, the story comes from India. Everyone sent it to me because, of course, everyone sent it to me. Monkeys snatch blood samples of suspected human malware patients in India. Yeah. A troop of monkeys snatched the blood samples of suspected human malware patients at a government hospital. Uh, the incident happened on Thursday when a lab assistant working at the facility of the hospital was carrying blood samples due for testing. Um, Dr. Diraj, uh, Balian, 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 uh, medical superintendent, uh, the monkeys attacked the lab assistant, stole the sample box with three samples, um, head of the hospital, uh, SK Garge, uh, told the local newswire the samples were blood samples and not the swabs they usually use. Uh, Gar said the samples belong to people who tested positive, but were taken as part of routine blood tests. The monkeys climbed trees with the samples and threw them after chewing the packets. So pretty much, the the the, the monkeys took some biohazard material, gnawed them open, and started chucking them. Yeah. I have a theory. <laughs> I'm sure you do. That is growing in strength in my mind. <laughs> that maybe we're not in a simulation. Maybe we are some other galaxy's reality show. And I think uh. 2020 is the fucking quarter quell. Because <laughs> there were 12 wedges on that little. It's true. Arena. There's 12 months and every month there's a new fucking horror. Yep. Every month it just gets worse in some completely ridiculous way. So I think we're in the fucking quarter quell. Apparently there I I'm I'm not even making this up as we're speaking today. I was looking at the news just before the show. Um there are earthquakes in Yellowstone right now. Great. <laughs> Let's just wipe America off the fucking map. I mean, what are we doing for anybody at this point? Let's be honest. <sighs> Okay. And then there was something about zombie fires in the Arctic that they continue burning underground, but you don't know about them. <sighs> well, the, the the pandemic and the subsequent quarantine and, and whatnot have left us all a bit at loose ends, to say the least. Um, yeah. People have been have been reacting to it in in kind of odd ways. This one was sent to me, and uh, I, yep. Uh, man says he broke into San Diego Wells Fargo Bank to heat up his hot pockets. 
Okay. Man was sur- sur- arrested sus- on suspicion of breaking into a Cholas View bank early Wednesday morning. Apparently entered the branch so he could heat up his Hot Pocket sandwiches. Around 3.30, San Diego police were dispatched to the Wells Fargo. Responding officers arrived to find a broken window near the tr- bank's drive through Alarm company told police that surveillance cameras inside the branch captured the man inside a break room using the microwave. After about an hour, officers broke through the front doors and located the man inside. So officers took him outside and arrested him. The man told 10 News Breaking News Tracker that he had entered the bank just so he could microwave his hot pocket. When asked if the hot pockets were worth it, the man responded, quote, Hell yeah, it was worth it. Incorrect. <laughs> hot pockets are never worth it. <laughs> hot pockets are pastry wrapped regret. <laughs> They're never ever worth it. Also, where were you coming from? Like you, your ass you could have go gone at home? You could have gone to the fucking 7-Eleven! Pretty much any convenience store at this point has a microwave for customer use. Right! If you have a gas station with a little mini mart in it, it probably has one because it probably sells Hot Pockets. Right! You did not have to do this. It, the Wells Fargo of all fucking places. I, I, the police were probably confused as shit. Yeah. They're like, okay, uh, what is... What, Especially has, once he said it was worth it. <laughs> You made any demands? Is, is the, any of the property damage? No. He's just making Hot Pockets. Which flavor of Hot Pockets? Is it the ham and cheese? Is it the, 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 the white pizza? Okay, the only even edible flavor is the pepperoni pizza. <laughs> you haven't had the white garlic chicken pizza. And that's a desperation move. The, 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 white, the, the white garlic chicken pizza is good. And also they have they have they have um, None of them are good. And do they have pretzel ones? Some of them you can choke down to save off starvation. <laughs> None of them are good. <laughs> Some of them are potable. <laughs> that should be their slogan. Hot pockets. Some of them are potable. This is what happens when motherfuckers sitting around bored. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to break into the bank and microwave a hot pocket. This is almost performance art. Are we sure it wasn't Banksy? Because <laughs> that sounds kind of Banksy. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Um, this is another one that's been a little, I guess, I guess you would call it a meme. I don't know if it's a meme. It's, it sure is stupid. It's been floating around um, Facebook and Twitter, and it's, okay. Apparently, and you can talk to Dan about this, apparently in the, the gun community, there are actually gun owners who are very strict and stress safety and protection. And that they're I like, am married to one. Right. And they have a word for the people who don't. And I learned this and I loved it. They're called FUDs. After Elmer... What? After Elmer, Elmer Fudd. Fudd. Yes, they're called FUDs after Elmer Fudd. Um, apparently, they get very annoyed when other people in their community talk about stuff like trigger safety and, check it and treating a weapon as is always loaded. So... Little things that'll help you not accidentally kill people. So, in order to protest this sort of thing, there is a new challenge. The point a gun at your own penis challenge. You know what? I'm cool with it. (laughs) Fine with it. If, If you're the guy that is so angry about basic gun safety, if... If your combo platter is, you're angry about basic gun safety, and to protest that, you're dumb enough to point your obviously unsecured gun at your dick. Go on, carry on. Because I can tell We're you, here. I can tell you, we have been doing this show for many years, and we have several stories. Yes. One every, at least one a year, if not more, 
of people putting a gun in their pants and shit. And a it very just famous New York Giant football player almost ended his own career shooting himself in the leg in a nightclub. We we have we have the research, Tara. We yes, we do. We have we have we we can go back, we have an archive. We can show these fucking idiots. You will in fact shoot your dick off. There are dudes on this show who have shot their dick off. Yes. And like Dan, Dan gets mad if we're watching a movie and someone's just walking around with their finger on the trigger of a fake gun. Like he gets mad cuz he's like that's bad trigger safety and he'll give me a whole speech about it. <laughs> Which is good. Like that's pretty much the only reason I'm comfortable living with someone who owns a gun because he is goddamn diligent about that shit. So like to find out there are people that are so fragile about being asked to safely handle a very deadly thing that they have to do a little performative. What's wrong with you? I also please carry on. Yeah, I know. Right. You're going to do this. Go right ahead. Cause if you're just going to take yourself right out of the gene pool, <clears throat> go ahead. Have some complaints. Yeah. I, I mean, look forward to your YouTube comments. I do not care. This is a whole bunch of no stop. Come back. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, even look at the look on that, the one cat's face. The, in the, cat. Picture. the cat the is like, I'm a cat and I know you're dumb. The fuck? I like my own asshole for three hours a day. And I know that you're dumb. I, I just, what? <sighs> and this isn't like, it's not like we're trying to take your rights away. I mean, I would, I would fire all the guns into the sun, but that's why I'll never be president. Mm. We just, we just want you to not accidentally kill anybody else or yourself. And apparently that is such a fucking imposition. Right. How really? dare. Really? How dare. <sighs> it's, it's a whole lot of you. you and, and you know what? I hate the, I love rage. I love rage against the machine. Oh, but, I thought you just meant general. Well, yeah. But one of the worst things they ever did was popularize, popularize the lyric, fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Yeah, they didn't really mean it for white people. <laughs> I mean, they literally didn't. If you listen to the rest of that song, they literally did not mean that for white people. Yeah, but I think people only listen to that point in the song and just yeah. tuned out. Um, like that song starts some of those who work forces are the same that burn crosses. No, so like, is no. that the same song? No, well, yeah, it is. But I think they, they just, the, the tune out, they fuck you. I don't want to do it. That, that's the part. That's the only part they want. Yeah. They want to context matters. Yeah. It wasn't meant for you, Chad. We got some more. The, the next two stories. All right. This is definitely, we, we're escalating the, we're way too bored in lockdown um this guy and it's florida of course it's fucking florida naked man allegedly spent entire day destroying florida school why a naked man broke into a locked florida high school apparently to trash the building causing one hundred thousand dollars worth of damage during a 22 hour vandalism spree 22 hours 22 hours i can't do anything for 22 hours except sleep mayhem and even then i need to wake up and eat <laughs> the mayhem began inside uh miramar high school just before 8 a.m on memorial day when the man busted in and he spent quote an entire day wreaking havoc Surveillance footage from inside the high school, which is closed during the, due to the pandemic, showed the man still at the building at 6 a.m. Tuesday. The suspect, who appears to be wearing headphones in the photo released by police, broke computers inside the school, put graffiti on walls, and flooded sections of the building. Um, it's unclear if the suspect has any connection to the school. Investigators are looking to whether he's a former student. Naked! 
naked wreck at a high school. But wearing headphones. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. But why naked? Yes, why naked have, right. Why, people in channel, why naked, why? This Did he think he was lucid dreaming? <laughs> Dark Angel. Oh my gosh, I'm at high school and I'm naked. Well, this time I'm going to win. <laughs> Dark Angel, like, but did he have a hall pass? <laughs> I mean, I don't know where he would put it. He didn't have any pockets. Uh, I, I, I it's just, it. And the thing is, like, high schools. I know that every school is getting super sanitized, and I know that school janitorial staffs have a very difficult job. Mm -hmm. They have a very difficult job because high schools are disgusting places. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't like having to be naked inside a high school when it was required of me because I had to change for gym. Oh, fuck gym, man. Like, I didn't like... When I had to do, I would never do it by choice. Was it that, I mean, it, the gym was, was the place where, you know, you, they, all right, take off all your clothes, get in that shower. Now come yeah. out and watch your feet. Make sure you don't get a fucking fungal infection from our grody ass fucking shower. And I think I've mentioned before the pool at my high school, when we had to do our swimming unit, I went to high school in the nineties. So it was a big hair product time. Ah. Uh. And I always had gym the last period of the day because uh, I was a baton twirler, which put me in the marching band and you always got gym at the end of the day. It was a whole thing. So by the time I got to there for my swim section, there was a literal film on the top of the pool of everybody's hair products from the course of the day. Yeah. Oh. Just, I just... Dude's sitting around during the whole lockdown and just decides, you know what? Fuck it. Now, he could have done anything. Could have been, fuck it. I'm going to go buy uh, $300 worth of steaks and I want to have a grill out for the entire neighborhood. Could have done that. Could have gone. Buy $300 worth of steaks and rub them all over my body. Could have done that. Could have said, I'm going to rent a Lamborghini. Could have said, I'm going to get the therapy I clearly so <laughs> desperately need. But no, he had his idea of busting out was spending almost 24 hours in a high school wrecking the joint. Naked. That's uh, what? Really? What? Seriously? The therapy would have been cheaper in the long run. It would have, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Speaking of bored during the pandemic. Folks, you're going to want to brace yourselves for this last. This is one of those ones that were just like, oh, no. Oh, no. This comes from China. And sadly, we have x-rays. Oh, I don't like it when you say that. Yeah, I don't like it when I say that. Um, I don't know. I have no way to seg into this gently, so we're just gonna we're just gonna die. Okay, dive in is probably the wrong word. Um, man, sixty eight has ten inch chopsticks stuck in his belly after inserting it into his backside. Quote, out of curiosity. Oh, so he got it all the way up. You want to see? You guys, you guys want to see the uh, the X-ray? Because there you go. Wow. This, yeah, I, 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 can you see where the yeah, yeah, everybody in the channel is like, oh no. Sixty-eight year old Chinese man had a had a chopstick lodged in his belly after sticking it into his rear out of curiosity. The elderly resident, who remains anonymous, claimed he was interested in checking his backside after developing piles. It's kind of hemorrhoids. Um, doctors made the shocking discovery during an x-ray scan after the men had gone to the hospital for severe abdominal pain. First of all... Yeah. 
that almost certainly was not sterile. No. Second, he clearly put in the bigger end first. Yes. Third, I don't understand the connection with hemorrhoids at all, for being honest. I just don't. I mean, because they don't go that far up, man. They, they don't. I, I, I'm. But, <sighs> and like, did he not mention it? Did he just say, "Wow, well, I'm having abdominal pain"? Apparently I not. I I don't know why. Yeah, apparently he did not. Yeah, the elderly man visited the hospital. Uh, suffered after he suffered severe abdominal pains. A doctor gave him an X-ray and spotted the metal object. Like, what did you think was going to happen? Did you think it was just going to go away? <laughs> Why I'm sure did you put it all the way up there. I'm sure it'll be fine. That's it's, not an ignored and it'll go away situation. No, it's not. It'll be fine. Elderly resident confessed to medics he was using the stick to check his hemorrhoids out of curiosity. That's 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 he inserted a metal shock stick from his anus to a deep position in his colon. You were not checking hemorrhoids at that point. You were not checking. No. Yo, that's you were not checking. That's that is a lie. Yes, everyone's channel is like, that's not true. Yeah, that is that is not true. <laughs> Especially the fact that you didn't go, hey, look, okay. Um, I did it dumb. There's a fucking chopstick in my stomach. Can you get it the fuck out of me? And like ER doctors have seen it. You can't dock an ER doctor. <clears throat> you can't. It's nope. not possible. Nope. You cannot present them something they have not seen. We prove that at the end of every year. Right. And like, whatever dumbass thing you have shoved up your ass, even if they haven't seen that particular thing before, they know why it's there. They know why it's there. They know you didn't fall on your flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even how physics works. <laughs> nope. I as I So like there's no point lying. There's just there just isn't. There's just just, just Oh, it's just ugh. I just uh they, they they have video of of they you can see the chopstick moving around. I'm not playing it. Yeah, I'm not fucking Yeah, like it's like protruding from his I I ain't, we ain't playing that. We ain't it doing looks that. a little bit like alien. <laughs> nope, we're not going there. You, you can look this up for yourself. It's it, you can find it. Um. So yeah. <clears throat> don't do that. Yeah. Don't don't. That's a literal stick up his ass. What confuses me is like. <sighs> Past the colon is the intestinal tract. Yeah. That is not a straight organ. No. That's... So did it puncture all of that? If it didn't, he's amazing. Yeah. Because the angle of that, like, that's not how intestines sit inside your person. You have, like, 10 feet of intestines, so they don't lay straight. The, the the first thing we've learned, which is a thing we've 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 learned over and over again, is if it's not designed to go in your hole, don't put it in your hole. We have an assortment of things yeah. as a society. We have constructed and dreamt and designed and and, and just a cornucopia of things to go in all of our holes. Possibilities. So many materials, so many shapes, so, so many things purpose made for your holes. We even have one purpose made for that hole with a little handle on them. So exactly this can't happen. The first thing is, if it's not made for the hole, don't put it in the hole. 
I mean, this is like, this is basic shit from when you were like, a kid. You, you learn that in kindergarten. Square peg, round hole. Square peg, it doesn't work. You, you learn that before kindergarten. The first time you shove something up your nose, it isn't supposed to be there. Mm. Um, We've learned there are so many other things you can do when getting out of this lockdown other than going to a high school and flooding the place. How is that even fun? I don't know. How, how is that even? Um, we've learned that even the most rudimentary in their own best interest re requests will still be knocked aside by a certain hard-headed, stubborn, idiotic part of our, our, our society. There's just a certain breed of white dude that cannot handle Anything. Fuck your YouTube comments. Um, we we've learned we've learned that uh, um, oh, well, uh, according to Tara, there is no good hot pocket. Nothing. No. So it was it was not in fact worth breaking into the bank for. I mean, uh, Tara, I'm gonna go with the guy who actually who put it on the line for a hot pocket. He said I'm it was. Say that, I'm gonna say that person's an idiot. <laughs> Um, we've learned that monkeys are capable of violating the Geneva Conventions. It's kind of impressive. Um, and finally, we've learned that the most impressive kill count, or at least one of the most impressive kill counts of the, uh, Civil War, uh, was the responsibility of a witch, uh, uh was because of a rich dude who didn't know what he was doing, but had plenty of money. Just a repeat self goal. <laughs> Three times. <laughs>